While I'm doing the introduction, can you please take some time to read the following disclaimer on your screen? The webinar will go approximately for 45 minutes. At the end, there is a Q&A section to answer any questions you may have. Feel free to type in any questions you have throughout the webinar, and I will try to get to all of them at the end. If due to time constraint, I cannot get answered, I cannot answer your question. You can email it to us, and we'll get you get back to you later. And my name is Katrina, today's guest presenter, and I'm the technical analyst in at Trading Central since 2013. And I get the CMT level one, which is a technical analysis examination. And the Trading Central itself actually was established in 1999, and we have 15 years track record. And Trading Central is an advert winning research house, which provides independent research to not only ethics or equity brokers, but also tier one banks and money managers. We focus on emerging technical analysis on a wide range of currency pairs, precious metals and indices, and continuously review trade scenarios that include entry and exit points. In short, Trading Central has decided to help traders to optimize the timing of their trades and it catered to all types of user users, from the novice to the most experienced trader. And I will introduce some powerful technical patterns which may help you to catch the market trend. And before that, um, there is two patterns which is called reversal pattern and continuation pattern. For reversal pattern, if it happens uh, in the market, it means that the previous trend is totally reversed. While the continuation pattern, mostly they will the the Previous trend will continue, and there is some consolidation uh, once this pattern happens, and uh, you may consider it as a good opportunity to get in the market. Now, first, uh, I will start probably the most reliable reversal pattern uh, in the chat in the chart, which is a head and shoulder pattern. Pattern, and it occurs both market tops and market bottom bottom and in the tops uh, we call it hand and shoulder or in the market bottom like the up lower chart and it is called hand and shoulder bottom or inverted hand and shoulder or reverse the hand and shoulder and it normally it consists of a final value um, that is the head and separating two smaller although not necessarily identical values that is the two two shoulders on the right and the left. And the line joining the bottom of the shoulder is called leg line. Um, normally, um, the right shoulder represents the lower peak. You can see that the peak is lower than the head. And the, and the bottom of the move following the breakout, um, it represents a lower rough. You can see that there is the higher, lower low and the lower bottom. And 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 be, besides we can we beside the pattern we also need to confirm with our folium because folium usually goes with the trend if uh, folium advances with a rising trend of prices and falls with a declining one anyone that anything that diverge from this characteristic should be considered a warning signal that the prevailing price trend may be in process of reversing. First, um, you can see from B to C, for this higher high, um, the volume is raising, um, while in this um, C to D, and you can see the, the price is flat. And the most uh, no noticeably is the second right shoulder high, and you can see that the volume is dropping. That means th this gives you a warning signal that the this the, the market will be reversing and most likely 
on breakout, the volume on breakout is um, most significantly higher than before. So you can see that the volume in D E to F point is rising than C to E point, and which is flat. That means that the market, uh, more and more seller is joining the move to sell the market. And after confirm it is an head and shoulder pattern, and you will want to make some um, trade idea on that, and you you can use this as your to to set up your price target and also the stop loss. Um, first, for the stop loss, normally we will set in the right shoulder here, the pit of the right shoulder, and for the price target. You can set up two price target here. The first one you can measure from the right shoulder, the pit of the right shoulder to the neckline. And this range you can consider to be the profit one. And normally it will be similar to the, to the um, second rough here. And because um, there may be some pullback and after and the second target you can set up by draw, draw, drawing the line from the head to the neckline and this one you can be set as the second target and normally we will take uh, half of the profit when this first target is rich and uh, close to whole position when the second target is done and the same on the head and shoulder bottom and you can set the stop loss on this right shoulder and then the first target by measuring the right shoulder width and height and the uh, uh, second target for measuring the head's uh, height of two. Um, let's see the real example here and you guys can take a few seconds to study the chart and to find out any head and shoulder pattern here. Okay, great. Um, actually, in this uh, example, there is two head and shoulder pattern. The first is head and shoulder top. You can see the head and then two shoulder here. And then another one is the head and shoulder bottom and the head with two shoulder here. And for for the money measurement, um, you can set up the drawing the arrows from the peak to the neckline and and so on and most likely um, the actual head and shoulder pattern is more complicated than the one we, we show you in the chart tra before because in actual uh, situation it won't be the same like in here the uh, head and shoulder bottom it might have more than one shoulder like here there is the three point and in the right shoulder there is two point and um, actually it can also consider an head and shoulder pattern and then we move on to the second um, pattern is the double top and double bottom in the um, double bottom um, like here then previously normally is a down uh, is a down trend and then reach to bottom here and also on the double top is the same and is normally before is a uh, uptrend and reach to bottom the second bottom failed to break above and make a higher top here and normally the initial price must uh, uh, enter the pattern from below the rough price you see here the P before is um, lower than the, the rough price price and then the exit signal here must occur on the breakout below the rough price and it is okay if the second peak or the second bottom is higher a bit higher or lower than the first one and but um, normally with within the five percent range, and after market um, breakout, and there may have some pullback here, and it's better that this pullback um, to, won't close above the neckline. The neckline similarly uh, to hand shoulder, we can draw it from this uh, bottom or the peak. 
And for the volume, there is two rules to identify. Um, the first here, the bottom, uh, the, the volume here, typically accomplished uh, by a high volume on the first bottom, and then a very light bo uh, volume on the second bottom, and heavy volume on the breakout. And the same on the double top pattern. For the money uh, risk rewards and uh, control, and first uh, we can set up our stop loss halfway of the pattern. And unlike hand shoulder, hand shoulder we set two targets, but in here we only normally set up one target. Um, we measure from the bottom to the leg line and it will be um, the, our minimum of price objective. And similarly, on the double top, we set up uh, the stop loss halfway of the pattern, and then the whole one on the um, target profit. Um, let's see one example. Um, you can see here, this is British Pine, and there is a uh, Double bottom, uh, bot, sorry, double top here, and you can see that um, this one uh, there has a false breakout of 1.63 level, and it closed below this level, and we call it a uh, gravestone doji, and which is also a virus signal. And actually, there is uh, there is two buying signal here. Uh, besides the candlestick, and the first one, um, the the pawns broke below this long-term rising trend line. You can see that this this trend line have been tested for several times, but finally it break below. And then the second one to confirm it is a double top pattern is the breakout of the neckline, that which is the second point here. And if we, uh, it is confirmed that to be at the full top pattern, um, then there may have some pullback. As I said before, uh, the pullback uh, um, better to close below this lag line. You can see that the lag line, um, the, this pullback is kept by this lag line. So if you want to measure our price objective, you can draw uh, arrows from the top to the lag line and to and place a key from the leg line here, and we get that's that uh, that we get the level of 1.54, and here which is actually the previous low too. And normally the double top or double pat double bottom pattern, um, this the the power is far more than the minimum price objective, it may go more downward. Okay, then um, we will talk about uh, the range. Um, actually, the, there it is um, two converging lines in the range, both move in the same direction, and in the rising range, the previous one is uh, the uptrend, and then there is the raising range, and the market will fall, uh, the price will fall below this raising range, and vice versa on the falling range. Then previously is the downtrend, and if this falling range happens, probably the market, uh, the price will break break out and reverse the whole trend. In the both in the range, uh, we can see that the it's normal for the volume to contract during the formation of whole ranges, since um, the ranges can take anywhere from two to, to eight weeks to complete. They sometimes occur on the weekly chart, and normally um, there is the you you see the volume catch up when the uh, price break uh, below or break above the range. 
for setting our price objective, um, first we can set our stop loss on the ranges high, and our prof profit normally we will set up on here for the raising range. And similarly on the falling ranges, um, for here we can set up our stop loss on the low, and then set up our uh, tar price target on the high. Um, let's see uh, an example, and here this is the China index, and you can see that previously it is in the downtrend, and there is a long-term falling range which is formed here, and test for a few times you can see here, and and as we all we know that this year the China market is. Um, very bullish uh, on the first half of the year and after breaking out of this falling range. And normally, um, if this, um, before we call this uh, bottom, we call it climax rough because um, the market is so panicked and it drop a lot. If it accomplish a not falling range afterwards, and probably the breakout will be more powerful than other uh, ranges that we don't have this uh, climax. Okay, um, then we will move on to the continuation pattern, and there uh, is a uh, uh, first one we will talk about the triangle. And there is a three kinds of triangle pattern, and actually you may think that um, it is quite similar to range because there is two line here, but different from the range. Um, range we it normally will move in the same direction, but triangle you can see that um, this is not in the same direction, and there is three kind of it. Um, the first one I will talk about the symmetric triangle. And this can happen either on the uptrend or downtrend, and the market just goes sideways, and the range becomes narrow, and the the market just wait for the breakout. So if in the uptrend and then it break up, it may break up or break down, and normally um. At least there is four points to confirm the tri triangle pattern, and one, two, three, four. And ideally, you uh, to have you, we have to six points um, touching the line, and we the ideal symmetric triangle pattern. And similarly, and in the ascending triangle, and it, it normally it happens in the uptrend. And the market just tests a few times of the previous top, but it just keep uh, it keep a strong resistance here. However, you can see that there is the higher top. Um, actually, the market is gaining the momentum to break above the horizontal uh, this horizontal upper boundary. And uh, similarly, in the declining triangle, there is a horizontal lower boundary, and the market is gaining the momentum to break up, break below this uh, support, and and this one often is uh, considered as a bearish signal, while the ascending triangle is a bullish um, chart pattern, and the asymmetric triangle normally is uh, like a sideways, the market just let out let uh, direction and waiting for the breakout. Okay, and for the volume, and you can see that um, similar to wages, and there is the you can see the volume is dropping or and dry out, and the market just wait for the breakout. Um, if the breakout is together with a heavy volume, and it will confirm that um, the triangle pattern. And how, uh, we how to set the target here. First, for stop loss, normally we will set on the last um, partial 
uh, decrease or last uh, parcel increase in the descending triangle. And for the price target, we have two separate uh, price a profit target. The first one we can set up, we can draw the arrows from the high point of the triangle to the um, horizontal uh, resist, uh, resistance. It from the first target, you can um, just take half of your profit if this level is rich. And then the second profit, normally we will um, start from where it begins, like if it is uh, in the uptrend and the you can measure from the previous bottom to the upper uh, horizontal um, boundary. And you can be uh, set up our second price objective. And in the um, in, in the symmetric triangles, um, it's the same. You can also set up the price from the high point and you will set up the first price objective and the second from the previous low and to, to form the second price objective. For descending one, um, we will set up in the last partial in, in, increase and also um, uh, the first target from the high point of the projection to the horizontal support and then the, you can take half profit here and then the low be, uh, previous top to the horizontal support and to form the uh, second price objective. Um, let's see this uh, example and you can see that the Japanese yen, there is a symmetric triangle here. And the folium is like um, the highest here and then keep dropping or not more than the previous one and and you can see that when break out here the price start to rise and in the breakout the, the volume is the heaviest then is the heavy than before heavier than before and actually and this one it can be a good buying signal because um, it what it won um, the break uh, break out and then with a high volume and for the setting the price target we can consider to the high point of the triangle and to the um, basis and then so the minimum price target will be set up around here Okay, last we will talk about the flat or planet pattern. Um, flat pattern, um, as the name implies, it looks like a flat on the chart and it represents a choir port accom accompanied by a trend of a declining volume that uh, interprets a sharp, almost vertical rise or decrease. And as a flat normally corresponded to a rectangle and it will be more like um, parallel while um, planet um, usually like the rectangle uh, the triangle because um, um, actually this uh, uh, in effect is a very small triangle and the, for the flat it takes the form of a parallelogram in which the rally pits and the reaction lowers can be connected by two parallel parallel line like here. And in the case of rising market, the flat um, is usually formed with a slight downtrend. And so when it if previous is uptrend and then it will be has slightly downtrend and break out again. And, and similarly on the planet, um, at, you may you may ask why the pattern is look like a triangle or a radius. And actually, um, planet is a very short term pattern. Unlike a radius or triangle, it can be considered as a long term um, pattern. And it require a very 
sharp move preceding it, like the sharp increase be, uh, before. And and the pattern can these two patterns can as short as five days, or even as long as um, three to five weeks at most. And this also represent because the previous market um, increase showed sharply, and these two patterns can also actually represent a period of contr uh, controlled profit taking on a rising market. For the volume, and we can see that there uh, is the extremely heavy uh, heavy volume before. Uh, the point at which the fat form formation begins, and it, when it develops, um, volume gradually dries to almost nothing, and the market just uh, waits for the explode and the price um, wrapped it out, right out of the complete formation, and you can see there is a heavy volume on the breakout, and so uh, as on the planet. A pattern. For the price measurement, um, we can set our stop loss um, around the, here, the basis or the independent pattern, uh, just like the triangle we can set up in the last uh, partial uh, decrease. And for the price uh, target, and you can you can start from the previous bottom and draw the arrows here to the top of the flat and this can form your minimum price objective and you can let the profit run until this profit reached. Okay, let's see a real example here. And this one is uh, again this um, Japanese yen, and you can see that uh, starting from he here, um, there is a rising, very sharp and rising uptrend, and then the, the market start to take profit for a while, and then forming a flat pattern. And after that, was that is the breakout, and for the price objective. Um, we can draw from the previous line to the highs of the flat, and this is we, what we call flat flow. And this flat flow, you can use it to set up your price target from the break, breakout to the upwards. And in this chart, actually, there is several um, buying signal. The first one that appear like in the MACD. Uh, then use the early buy signal here when the MACD cross above the a signal line. And however, it is not yet confirmed. And when the the price break above this resistance around 109.3, there is key resistance here. As you see that the market test a few times before, and the price confirmed the MACD early buying signal, and if you miss uh, the price here, probably you need to wait for the flat pattern, and the second buying time is uh, uh, when the price break out of the flat, and actually before that, the MACD also show uh, early buying signal here, when the MACD again cross above the blue line, and confirmed by the breakout of the price of the fat pattern. So you can consider the second. If you miss the first buying signal here, probably you can get in the market on the second um, chance here. And so, and um, in in conclusion, the pattern. Uh, most powerful tools to detect psychology. You can know uh, when how the market um, think about and what what this uh, psychology is. And normally you have to consider the chart together with your volume, and you need to wait for the volume to confirm your price breakout or your um, price movement. And f and third and 
you, you also learn some how to set your price target and the risk um, stop loss levels and it can help you to uh, use uh, to build your uh, trading strategy um, so um, it is um, uh, my my it is a whole um, at the end of my uh, presentation and if you have any questions and um, feel free to ask and we can have around like 10 minutes for Q&A session Um, there is one question regarding the double top and the double bottom pattern and the, this uh, audience asks for double top and double bottom which interval we should set for the chart like hourly, for hourly or daily or monthly and actually uh, in the double bottom or double top pattern and it is like um, more in long-term pattern so you can mostly find in the daily chart so and and like uh, also in the head and shoulder pattern and this too because it is talking about the whole trend so it's better to use the daily chart to um, detect the pattern and the second question is Please advise how to differentiate triangles and ranges. Okay, um, this one, I can go back to the ranges. And you see from the ranges, actually these two lines go in the same direction, both in like upward or downward. But in the triangle pattern, you can see that the either the triangle, uh, the, the two lines is diverge, at uh, the converge or rather is uh, one is horizontal and then one is um, going upward or, or going downward so um, in in triangle um, they won't go in the same direction while in the ranges normally will go in the same direction direction either downward or upward And uh, there is another question is, when do we use indicator like MACD and when do we use chart patterns? Uh, actually, um, we can use all the indicators like MACD or RSI together with all the chart patterns because um, some this, this uh, RSI or MACD pattern, it it show you some hints or early signal and sometimes we need the price um, to confirm if like you like here uh, the last chart I showed you there, there is several um, hints here like the buying signal um, of the MACD and then the breakout of the flat pattern actually you can use together to confirm uh, the price in, in the uptrend sometimes um, if uh, only um, one hints in MACD but the price fail to confirm the signal and the, the pattern or the chart pattern and this pattern will fail so you can use the indicator and the chart pattern together if more the more more the uh, uh, signal they they we echo each other um, the more reliable of the pattern is um, there is another question that yes. do you pay attention to 20 day moving average or 15 
they moving average to get together. And normally, um, actually, we will use um, usually use 20 day moving average and 15 days moving average together. And and in the daily chart or the inter intraday chart chart because um, these two are more reliable. And in a long term chart, sometimes we will also use the 200 day moving average because um, uh, if like if the price break below this 200 and 200 moving days moving average, it will give you more hints uh, as a one principle. The longer the time, um, the more significant it is. So if the price um, break out the 200 days moving average or 15 day moving average, and it will it will be more important than um, the break breaking out of 200 uh, to 20 day moving average. Okay, um, there is one question regarding the MACD, and uh, there, what is the red, red line and what is the blue line for MACD here? And the red line is uh, what we call MACD, and the blue line is what we call the signal line. And if the the blue uh, the, the red line cross above the blue line, it will consider as the buying signal. Of course, you uh, the price have to confirm the signal. If, if in here you can see that the red line break below the blue line, and actually you may consider as uh, the selling signal. So, um, do you have any more questions? Okay, um, that, this is a uh, rather long question. I'm assuming a breakout happens before the forium is higher than the previous day, but at the end of the trading sections, the forium is higher than the previous day. Before, when will you enter the trade at the breakout price before the forium is high? enough to confirmation or the next day. Uh, let's see. Okay, and actually um, the volume and the price, it will um, co uh, intercorrelate each other's normally in the price uh, trend and like here and for this breakout actually <coughs> sorry is uh, around uh, the high highest volume here is around uh, the breakout so uh, if uh, the, the price um, break above here with because when, when you are here actually you don't know whether um, how the market goes as uh, as until it break above the pattern, and if it confirmed with the heavy volume, it will if the pattern will be more reliable. So you have to consider, and I think if uh, I'm the trader, I will suppose get uh, like half of my um, capitals to get in the market, and once. Um, you can see afterwards the price going up and then the heavy, the volume is heavy and then I will get uh, the in my second half of the capital to, to trade the market. Okay, and the other question is, 
um, and other question is the fat and pan that are also go in the same direction. Why are they not called a wedge? Um, actually, I have uh, mentioned it in between. Um, the, these two actually is quite similar to the triangle or the wedges pattern, and it like it like is a triangle. But these two are rather short. Term uh, chart pattern. Unlike in ranges or triangle, it may happen in the daily chart or it happens in very long time. But in these two pattern, it actually like happens in a few days or most likely less than three weeks. So if it is more um, huge or significant and it lasts more than like uh, one month, and we may call it a wage. But here and and it is rather small in small scale. And second, um, normally before that, uh, for for flat and planet, uh, we have a very sharp increase of the price. So, and in in triangle or wages, maybe before they will have some uh, higher high or higher lows in between, and it's not. Uh, is not sh so um, sharply increased. So um, that's the differentiation of um, flat planet or wedges pattern. So thank you uh, for attending uh, today's webinar. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us any email. And and here is the contact. Thank you very much.